Coming up in this episode, we reminisce about iodine milk, and we used to call it as kids iodine milk. Yeah, it's right. Like evaporated milk. Our boom falls off. Anyone see what's happened? Hmm. The boom's come off. And can we make it through the reef cut in the middle of the night? I'll shine the torch, the port, and starboard side. You can just see breaking, breaking waves over the reef on both sides. You can hear it. And we're right in the middle of the cut. Good morning everyone, it is the morning of Friday, November 25th, 2022, it is day 7 at sea. The past 24 hours we've covered 120 nautical miles, average speed of 5 knots. Today the wind is from the east, finger, and then going southeast, then south, and then later on tonight, southwest and then northwest and then come back around over the next 24 hours and back to northeast again by tomorrow. This is the third time the wind has done this, it just seems to go around in circles down here. Uh, it's currently about 28 degrees and partially sunny and partially cloudy. Let's see how many miles we've got left to our destination. We're going pretty much into here, about 270 nautical miles to go. Uh, and there's Bermuda all the way up there and we come all the way down here. Isn't that just wonderful? As you can see, we've had a sail change. Instead of running down with the wind, we're now beam reach. We're still heading directly for our destination, which is about 240, 240 degrees. As the wind comes around, we're going to get tighter and tighter, and it will be a really close haul, close reach for a little bit, and then we'll probably tack off one way. It's going to be about six hours of not going toward our destination, basically. We'll have to just wait and just, uh, mess around in the sea until the wind behaves. It's been a gorgeous day, though. Sunny all day today. Absolutely beautiful. So warm, it's bloody delicious. Hot like hell, isn't it? Yeah, it is 29 nice. Twenty-nine degrees. Yeah, we got Saturday, Sunday, should be there Monday morning, you were saying, wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh, it'd be nice, isn't it? I would look forward to this one. Back down there, exploring all those islands and things. Yeah. Lovely. I'm tired. Adam outside. Trying to do the Juno you know, okay. Doesn't like it tapping back and forth. Quite a slow day today, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Well, sailing, sailing has been good. Yeah. But what episodes of The Simpsons are we on? This is the important question of the evening. How's your bustles, gang? Get us sometime Monday. Monday. Bahamas Monday. I can't wait to explore the islands and take the drone up. Yeah. Where have we got that now? It's recording. Yeah. <laughs> Pineapple, and we used to call it as kids iodine milk. Yeah, like right. evaporated milk. And you Luke said I put way too much. You just on put there. half a tin of evaporated milk on your ice, your thing, didn't you? Pineapple. Yeah, and I just put a little bit in mine. I've kind of shared it out, half half. <laughs> oh god! Because when I remember as kids, you used to have this, and you used to make a little hole there and a little hole on the opposite, and just dribble some on. It's so strong. Oh god. It's dipping down with rain, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. Wind's gone. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? Boom, wind gone. Yeah. What do you think of that, Reminds me of when I was a kid. Mm. On Sunday evening. We used to have Sunday lunch at lunch, like. Right? Sunday evening we used to have, like, crackers and ham and... Um, 
coleslaw and cottage cheese and then after this used to be like iodine milk and, and fruit. Yeah. And then we used to watch um London's Burning. London's Burning, yeah. And then you've been afraid to go to bed. Yeah. Ready for school on Monday morning. <laughs> What happened, Nick? I'm well, just finishing our tea and we've had three showers roll in. Um, take Neppy off because you get wind like this, 15 knots, and then the showers come in and it leaves you with nothing. So, since he's already been battling with the wind again. Yeah. Frustrating, isn't it? Really frustrating. So it's. Uh, I don't know. I've asked one in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, we can stop playing ball tonight. Squalls. A heavy squall outside now. It's been blowing. 23 knots. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, look. Really squally. Looks tight. Looks tired to go to bed. That's where I've been sleeping just now. We're gonna go man the fort. Oh dear. I think the squall's over. Not far to go. 217 miles. Flying this morning, as Luke said. Six to six and a half knots west. Or southwest. Wonderful. See, we're absolutely stonking along. Got a double reef main and a somewhat reefed Genoa. There go. Amazing conditions. Probably because of this cloud there, it's going to bring rain. But we are 190 miles away from our destination. Hoping to make it there for Monday morning. wind has been coming around all night. I'll show you a picture of uh, progress. We made a tack about 12 o'clock last night and it's been slowly coming around and now we're heading straight for our destination again. So this is our track last night. As the wind came around, and the wind was going around like that, it pushes up here and then as it got to about this bit and then we had a westerly, we tacked and then the angle was rubbish for a bit and then as the night has gone on, this is over 12 hours, we straightened up nicely and now we are heading straight towards our destination. And that's what it looks like. But up, and then as the wind comes around, back again. Lovely jubbly. Oh dear. Anyone see what's happened? Hmm, the boom's come off. Literally gonna reef the main and reef it. Luckily, this pin has fallen out. The pin fell out of there. Obviously, the um, cotter pin has fallen out. Yeah, it goes in there. Yeah. Something's fallen out of there. It's allowing it to come loose. Let's try and get it back on. I'm going to put the head mount on. Well, that's never happened before. I never expected that to happen either. Nope. Literally gonna pull a reef out of the main, shake one out and fell off.
Yeah. What do you think, people? Can you see in there? Yeah, not bad, eh? Put the back of it in. Okay, again. There's a bolt on there. You do drop it. Weird that breaking like that. Oh, it's crazy. It just come out or. Right, sit then. Uh, yeah, we've got one broken thing here. Yeah, I've seen it. Where uh, is it? There. Yeah. Like maintenance day on the boom, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A bit high, I think. Let's do a test. Going on then, I'm right, going up the mast. Let's see, because the main halyard is designed to wrap itself around the radar dome at the top. I can't get it out. So I've got to go up there and get it in these conditions. What started off as a simple, let's unroof the main. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Turn into this massive two hour long thing. Okay. Okay, wait there. Okay, let's come down. Oh my lord, ball experience. That's amazing. Uh, look at the mess from all that work I just did. Tools everywhere, stuff everywhere. Cockpit full of stuff. All good though. Zen? Done. Five point two knots. <laughs>
Good morning, everybody. It's 11 a.m. Sunday. It's Sunday, November 27th, 2022. Last 24 hours, we've done 120 nautical miles, average speed of five knots, which is pretty good. I'm quite like that. We've only got 52.7 miles to here. The cut in the reef, right there. Big cut in the reef where we're going to go through. And we're going to go along here, down, and then anchor up somewhere in this harbour. And that's the end destination, Marsh Harbour. Oh, you know, really getting close now. That's where we come all the way from there, Bermuda, all the way down there. So close. Hopefully we'll be there sometime this evening or the early hours of the morning, early hours of tomorrow morning. I'd like to stop the video there and talk about going to this reef cutter night. It wasn't a decision we come to lightly. We discussed it over and over and over. Uh, our options were either to go through. The weather, by the way, was very, very calm with very little swell. So we, we sort of gauged it was relatively safe to go through. We went through carefully and slowly with a big flashlight torch. Uh, the other option we had was just to stay offshore and float around, but we were so close and we were excited to get there and we decided to, well, you'll see later on, we decided to go through there. Uh, we currently have southeasterly winds around 10 knots, gonna go south and then southwest later on tonight and tomorrow morning around 10 knots. Uh, it's sunny and it's about 29 degrees. Uh, I'll show you another day out at sea and it's just exactly the same as yesterday to be honest. Lovely wind and fantastic speed. Doing 5.5 to 6 knots speed over ground and we've got 10 knots nearly being reached. I mean we've been blessed with good 30 to 36 hours of fantastic wind. It was some of the worst days in the I haven't got a career, though. He's being silly. Beautiful. Hopefully, the boom won't fall off today. Your bonus. Can't see. Can't see land yet. Lovely. Along. And the way it glides across the yeah, sea. Yeah, I know. It's weird, isn't it? Well, we nearly made it down to, back down the tropical environment, all the way from Canada, back down to here. It's been a slog. Start wearing our hat again. Yeah, cover up again for the heat. The wind has fallen off a little bit. <laughs> we are disappointed. Uh, at our present speed, we're doing five knots. I mean, we, we would have got to the reef going into the anchorage about nine o'clock. So you probably would have got into bed about 12. It would have been lovely. But the speed has dropped off to like three to three and a half knots. We just had a ship going past us, a big cruise ship going to Nassau in the Bahamas. Just went around our stern. The forecast is for the wind not to fall off, but it has done. Okay, now we've got seven knots. I'm doing 3.8 knots, four knots through the speed over ground. So, a big update. It's half past six. Uh, as you can hear from the background, we've got the engine on, so we're going to slide off to nothing. We don't plan to spend another night just drifting 22 miles away from our destination, so reluctantly. Get the engine going. Loud at the minute because Luke's taking his cushions out of, the, out of there, out of his uh, coffin. Uh, I'm back now. Just doing the dishes. Hopefully, we'll be uh, anchorage. Fingers crossed, maybe by 12, 1 o'clock. Just looking out for lights, isn't it? Yeah, in the distance, see if we can see anything glowing. I'm sure when it gets dark and give it an hour or so, we'll see some lights. 
all the way over there in the west, glitter glistening off the Bahamas. It's a lovely evening now. It's really nice. You can see the bay with no wind. No. Well, there's about three or four knots. Not much. It's half past ten. Uh, we've only got 3.5 miles to go to the cut, you can see here. That's the cut in the reef. It's 120 meters wide across. And it's, it's deep. You know, it's like nine, 10 meters through there. So we've got to go through this cut here in the reef. 1.3 miles to go. You can see our torch. Yeah, it's pretty, see it, it's pretty clear. The water looks so broadly blue. Yeah. It's a little washing hanging up. I'm going to go up on the bow in a minute and uh, make sure there's nothing in the water, like pots and stuff like that. Yeah, there's a bit of an emergency here, so. Emergency, emergency. <laughs> <laughs> You can't see him. Adam's up on a bow doing the uh, spotlight work. I'm guiding her home. It's approaching the cut in the reef now. Uh, everything seems okay. I can hear the reef breaking to our port side. I'm guessing it's there. There's the breakers on the there's only about half a metre swell coming in here, so it's absolutely fine. It's plenty deep. It's got to stay in the middle or to the north side where it's the deepest part. There's a rock in the middle, but it's always underwater. It's fine. So I'll get this through this reefy bit. Looks on the helm. Can't see anything. Sorry about this, you can't see anything. Uh, it's just passing through the middle of the reef now, and. I was shining the torch to the port and starboard side. You can just see breaking, breaking waves over the reef on both sides. You can hear it. And we're right in the middle of the cut. And that is pretty scary at yeah. night. It's getting down to the first shallowy bit we've got to go through now, a little bit of a bank. Uh, it's not that deep, but you can it's amazing. You can see the show you. sand is just glistening underneath the boat. I wish we could show you. Torch. Trying the torch in the water, and you can see the sand. There's the fish already, and uh, the GoPro just won't pick it up. I oh, just can't wait to show you in the daylight when we go sailing. Yeah, it's gonna look absolutely amazing. amazing. Yeah, I know. Never mind. It's uh, pretty cool. It's uh, nice. <laughs> just a busy we turned up in the dark, isn't it? Oh yeah. Look, we're shining the torch in the water. Don't know I if you can see. Try. Able to see it, you can see the floor on the on camera. A little bit, yeah. Greeny, sandy. Definitely see the floor now. Yeah, easy. Listening. Not on camera. Sure. A really shallow bit here now on the charts. It's three meter to two point seven meters. We draw one point four. Two point two. That's fine. Well, we're nearly there. Um, I think we're going to just anchor just outside the harbour by here for tonight because there's meant to be red and yellow boys going in here, flashing, but there's not been, they're not even there. It is unnerving us really. Um, might be here. They might be probably there, not flashing. You still want to hit them. Yeah, so I think we're just going to go over by here. I think for tonight, and then go in here in daylight because there's so much stuff going on in there. Don't want to hit anything. To be honest. Uh, quick change of plan, we are going to try and get into the harbour. The boys on the chart say they're lit, but they're not, they're unlit, but they are there. So we're going to have a look goosey gander inside, see if we can find an anchorage for the night. We made it! <laughs> 10 past 12 at night, we've anchored. It's beautiful. Well, we don't know if it's beautiful, can Well we? done, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> We're finally back in the tropics. Yeah. Amazing. We well, can't wait to show you around tomorrow. I can't wait to see it tomorrow. Have a look. Have a look around and check in and everything. There's an, I can, can only see two other yachts here. That's it. It goes down. 
and we'll see you in the morning. Yeah. Good night. So, we got you. The original plan was just going to go straight to sleep, but we oh, so, it's so hyped up now, maybe, because we've just made it here and we need something to relax. So we're going to relax for an hour and then there's, I know it's late. Tomorrow, got a busy day and It's nice to have a little something to. Yes, I think. And what people are going to say as well, people are going to say you shouldn't have gone through the reef at in the, the night, but it's a known cut channel. This is quite safe. Yeah, perfectly safe. So it'll be fine. Uh, this is. Congratulations. Ching! Made it from Nova Scotia as a back to the tropics. Yes, Canada to the tropics. That is strong, isn't it? Oh, it's nice, isn't it, though? It's malty, isn't it? I'm going to have the alcoholic beverage for nine days, and it's really malty. We will see you in the morning now. Welcome to the Bahamas. Would you look at that? Need the lid. Are you going to put cheese in there? No. Oh, I could do, could I? Yeah, we need cheese in there. 